it's Eric. And Adam. And Zachary. And Lucas. And today, and today is... Make Baby Monday. Monday. Make Baby Monday. Monday. It's Make Baby, Baby Monday. Monday. Woo! Monday. And today we have a very special treat for you because we have Corinne's lovely boys here. They're so... And uh, we are actually going to do a little interview with Corinne. So we're very excited about it to uh, ask her just a few questions how she's been. So yeah. stay tuned. So it is Make Baby Monday and we have our surrogate here, Corinne. And we're very excited to finally have you here to ask just a few questions. Um, I think yeah. we just want to know how you are and I think everybody wants to know what's been going on and um, how the journey has been for you so far. Yeah and we had an interview with Jay Beans, Julie, our egg donor, but we wanted to ask Corinne some questions because she's in her second trimester right now. So we just kind of want to see where she's at and how she's feeling thus far and we're probably going to do another interview during the third trimester just to see if anything's changed. Yeah. Yes. So, <laughs> maybe we should kind of go back to the beginning and maybe uh, start off with like injections and how all that went for you specifically. Um, so if you don't know, uh, when you're a surrogate, you also have to uh, have an injection once a day uh, into your backside, into your booty, um, and set the top on the side, right? Yep. Right there. Yep. And... Um, it goes for about two and a half months. So it's a while. Yeah. If you're afraid of needles, you get over it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> um, and she does it all of her stuff. So can you talk a little bit about how that was for you? I was terrified the first one I gave. And then when I realized it wasn't quite so bad, the rest of them kind of... So it didn't hurt that much? It didn't. It was actually more painful after I did a few of them because it was like a, you get like a shot knot kind of where your skin starts to like, or your muscle starts to like harden underneath. So, that Wasn't was the less dominant side difficult and did yes. you hit like a muscle or something and you were like, ah! Yeah, that was a horrible one. It only happened once. It was awful. Yeah. But I remember <laughs> calling me afterwards and being like, um, we may have difficulties with that because... It hurt a lot, and I was like, oh, gosh, I don't know if she's going to, like, stop everything because of this one, and she's like, going to have to, like, do it again. So. The nurse said I hit a nerve, based on what I described, so yeah. the odds of me doing it again were slim to none. Thank goodness. <laughs> yeah. So, thus far, has the injections of the medicine been the hardest part of all of this? No. First trimester was... <laughs> yeah. Why? Because I threw up a oh, lot yeah, every day. Sickness. Yeah. A lot. These girls were not my friend when it came to being sick. Especially, and it's okay. Now I'm better. <laughs> <laughs> Especially compared to your other two pregnancies, yes. this was like quadruple the amount of. Yes. Because they say you get more sickness with girls and even more with twins. So I got double <laughs> and whammy. She had both. <laughs> I don't know. We felt so bad. We were like trying to figure out anything to give you like, yeah. ginger. Or, like, we just we went through a lot of remedies everything. trying like, to feel better. Yeah. So another question. Uh, so Corinne has two boys of her own. Does it feel different with them being girls? The placement of them inside of you or anything? Like, do you did you notice anything like that? Mm, I don't think so. Not I yet, heard, anyways. I heard that like one of them is carried higher and one is carried lower. I didn't know if that was true though. So. I felt like I carried my boys a little bit differently, so I thought for sure one was a boy and one was a girl, and they were both boys, so I haven't felt that yet. Maybe when they get bigger, it'll feel different. I'm curious about uh, movement and what you're feeling uh, currently, because I know towards, what was it, like, it was like 11 weeks, 12 weeks? You said you could feel it a little bit, and then you had like a break, and then... Mm -hmm. The doctor pain. had said, you're too early to feel it. And I'm like, no, I'm telling you, I'm feeling like a little bit. And then all of a sudden I was like, maybe yes, this gas. I don't know. I'm not feeling anything <laughs> now. So I'm feeling a little bit of movement now, but not very much on the outside yet. I was kind of hoping when you guys were here today, we would feel some on the outside, but not quite. Two more weeks, maybe. Have you felt anything on the outside while we're not? If, when we're not not really, like a tiny bit, but not really. Okay. 
I think I look like a crazy person, like pushing <laughs> in my stomach, trying to yeah, see there, a little bit. There, That's there. exciting. Is the oh, has the that. second trimester been much different than the first? So other different. other than the morning sickness, I have energy back. Okay. I'm not sick anymore. It's been awesome. Yes, okay. much better. Um, <laughs> how has your husband been through all of this? Because it's quite a um, uh, peculiar circumstance we're all in. So how is he handling <laughs> it all? He puts up with a lot because I'm a little hormonal. So he has to put up with all of that. He does all the housework, all the laundry. He's the rock star, so I'm very blessed. So we have to- Husband uh, goals! <laughs> hashtag. Quinn. <laughs> oh, my brother, like, forever. Yeah. Which I already knew going into this. That was going to be something that was going to be like, uh, bro, I have this looming over your head now. Yeah. Ooh, another question. So, with your two boys, how have they handled this whole circumstance, because that's got to be quite interesting for them, seeing you knowing what's happening, mm -hmm. but not and knowing that they're not coming to you guys. They love it. They get so excited. They're always talking about their cousins and, you know, can we buy something for them? How are they feeling? Mommy, are you going to the doctor to see the babies today? Like, it's really cute. I do have to say that the one thing that I'm loving about this whole experience is how open that you and Mike are with your boys. I think it is so amazing how you talk to them, how you explain everything, how they just are so welcoming to all the information. And they're seven and, and four, so it's like... And they understand, it's like... Yeah. I mean, I don't know how much truly they understand, but for their age and... Mike, they'll tell you, like, they, where are the babies gonna live? Well, with Uncle Eric and Uncle Adam, it's their babies, and they look at me like, duh. So. You did mention that some of your work colleagues are also pregnant, but they're further along than you, but they're sure. not as big. <laughs> How does that make you feel? Like a big house. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Maybe people don't believe. I could show them. Here's the babies. <laughs> How was uh, the beginning as far as the transfer is concerned? Like the actual transfer and the two weeks after that, because I know you were very restricted on lifting and you have two boys and how was all of that as far as like, did it disrupt a lot of your life or did it like... Um, was there wasn't a lot of restrictions as far as the doctor was telling me just not to lift a lot of heavy things, which I teach kindergarten, I don't lift my kindergartners, so that wasn't so bad. But I left my four-year-old to go to bed every night, so that was that was a little tough. We had to tell him that mommy hurt her back, because they didn't really know about all of it until we wanted to make sure everything took and stuff. So that was a little bit hard, and he kept saying, "Mommy, is your back feel better yet?" So yeah, I remember that because we didn't they didn't know until like, the first trimester, right? Yeah, we waited. Pretty much, yeah, has being a surrogate been what you expected before? being a part of the whole thing. Like, um, did you have other expectations leading up to before you actually started this all? No, I don't think I, I don't know. I don't think I like really thought it all the way through, like what specifically I would feel like. I just knew I kind of wanted to do it. I had a friend who did it and I just thought it was amazing to bless somebody with that, so. And do you have any regrets thus far? Question mark? No question mark? <laughs> no. no. I just wish I hadn't gotten so sick, but that's yeah. not a regret. That's just like, oh man. Especially when your husband says, well, you signed up for this, remember? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me that when I'm throwing up. <laughs> and is there anything that you are looking forward to over the course of the rest of them? Or at this point, are you just ready to get them out? Not ready in a bad way, but I'm like dying to meet them. I want to know okay. what they look like. I want to know like, does one look like you and one look like you? I like, that's just so exciting. And another question, uh, starting this, has it gone by slow to you or fast? Because we're already about four and, four and a half months, almost five months in. We got about four left. So has that gone by fast to you? I'm halfway. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is, that, is that crazy? Or does it feel like it took a while to get to this point? 
don't know. I think it just feels normal. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if it like felt different being in it. If it no, if it I don't think so. up or anything. No. Okay. okay. Throughout this process so far, do you feel like you have gotten what you need from the two of us? And if not, is there anything that we can do? Lay it out on the table. Like, mm. Totally honest, need? totally it's upfront. <laughs> like, She's like, here's a list. Because <laughs> I, <think Wow>. <laughs> I think our goal in the, from the get-go of this whole thing was to make sure that you were comfortable through the, this entire process. So I'm just, I want to make sure there wasn't like, Oh, I wish they would have done this, or I wish, you know, I, I don't know. Is there anything that... No, you guys have been great with asking if there's, like, any, like, medication or um, prenatal vitamins that I need. I still need to do a little bit of shopping because I'm growing out of some clothes quickly, but that's more time than not offering because you've offered many times, but I have two kids and a job, so it's finding the time to go shopping that is more difficult. Um, yeah. Has it been hard to have us not too close? Because she is down in San Diego, we're up in LA. Has that been, have you found that difficult? Well, my husband might say yes, because he's the one that has to give me the foot rubs <laughs> and the back rubs <laughs> and do all the housework, but no. <laughs> I guess one final question, are you happy? Yes, it's very exciting. Wonderful, okay, yay. Well, Corinne's been absolutely amazing through this whole process. Literally, we cannot say a bad word about this woman. Um, and the babies are looking great. And yeah, we, we're so excited. And we're so happy that you are the one that is carrying our girls. So yeah, yeah, definitely. This is like completely ideal and we wouldn't have it any other way. So thank you so much for everything. You're welcome. You can feel the ducks like. <laughs> I know. I'm to, like, like, this one is about to. <laughs> so I'm like, waterworks. I'm gonna bite my tongue. I'm the pregnant one. You're not supposed to be Well, I told you today. I was like, uh, I'm having baby brain. I, I can't remember what what I. And she started laughing at me. I was like, no, what? that feeling. Pregnancy it's true. brain is true. It is real, guys. Yeah. <laughs> totally, and I'm feeling it. You know? I'm not feeling it. I'm, I'm like, <laughs> well, because you just have it all. The That's time. what it feels like. You're good. Great. Okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's our update. Uh, thank you for joining. If you guys have any questions that uh, you feel that uh, you want to know from Corinne uh, thus far, please let us know. We will gladly uh, take that question to Corinne, answer it for you, and yeah. come back in the comments down below. But we love you all. Thank you so much again for watching. Subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and we'll see you soon. Three! Three. It's Zachary and Lucas, and today we'll be singing Bit Bye!